Okay, so what I am going to talk about now is how electrons distribute themselves when they're in a bond. Um, what we know about from covalent bonding is that electrons share or atoms share electrons when they bond. Um, and so basically the way they share electrons is that the area of their orbitals overlaps. And this area of overlap allows electrons of opposite spin to share the same orbital. So basically, um, you know, you'll see one atom and then there'll be the other atom and then it's this area of overlap that we see here. And for instance, in the case of hydrogen, um, you know, hydrogen has its 1s, another hydrogen has its 1s. Um, they both have one electron. And so by pairing up, these two electrons can kind of have a shared orbital and pair up in this opposite spin. And we know that ele electrons of opposite spin um, can share one orbital because of Pauli exclusion principle. So um, one of the things about where this bond forms, um, it's when or the optimal distance between two nuclei um, happens when there's a balance between the repulsive forces of nuclei, nucleus to nucleus, um, obviously um, nuclei are positive being filled with protons so positive and positive will repel each other and electrons of one atom to electrons of another atom so negative charges will uh, repel each other however it's a balance between that the attractive forces of a nucleus to electrons of another element. So when we have two elements of relatively high electronegativities, which tend to be our uh, non-metallic elements, they have greater electronegativity and so attraction for electrons of other atoms. So here, a positive to a negative. Um, so that balance happens, and you can sort of look at it when you sort of move atoms closer and further to each other. Um, when too close, you see that there's going to be super duper high potential energy. So if I could put potential energy here, So when those atoms get way too close to each other, um, it's a lot of potential energy to maintain them that close together. But as you spread them apart, um, it sort of reaches this wonderful point here where we get really low potential energy and where it's at its most stable. So things are at their most stable when they have the least amount of potential energy. However, as you start to pull those atoms farther and farther away, well, we start to see that potential energy go up again. Um, as you recall, because atoms like to have that full octet. So, um, of course, there's this plateau because eventually there's a point where you've gotten them so far apart, it just doesn't matter anymore. Um, so, for instance, this is if you squish those atoms really too close into each other's space. Um, and then this is when they're really too far apart from each other. Um, 
And this is maybe that happy medium where we've got that balance, perfect balance between those repulsive forces and the attractive forces. So when we hit that perfect spot, then the resulting links between those two nuclei is where the bond forms, and that's how we figure out our bond length there. Um, now, if we move on and we have to start